Hey, how's it going dudes and dudettes? Brad the Guitologist here. This is going to be somewhat of a quick video. Uh, in it, we're going to look at this thing. This is a score that I found at uh, Goodwill recently. Uh, sometimes you walk into Goodwill and uh, you spot something that the people there don't know what it is. And uh, I didn't even know what this thing was until I kind of looked it up and I was like, what is this thing? But this is a micro test uh, by this company, Electrophysic Cone. Um, I had no idea what the hell this thing was. But when I looked it up, I was standing there and I realized this thing that they were asking five bucks for at Goodwill was a very specialty piece of uh, equipment for testing purposes. And I really uh, made a good score because this thing sells about the cheapest one you can find uh, are about 250 bucks. So for uh, something I gave five bucks for, uh, this one should sell for you know 250 or maybe even more so the a brand new one of these will set you back about six or seven hundred dollars um doesn't look like very much but some things you can't test without it we're gonna show exactly what it does what it tests and uh I think you're going to see, this is actually kind of a really cool little piece of test equipment I don't know if it would be necessarily worth seven hundred dollars cool but uh i mean for five dollars it's certainly worth buying especially with the little case and everything so really cool score let's take a look at how it works okay so here is my refrigerator this is a ge made refrigerator and we're going to look here on the top of it i've sat it up here on the top part and it looks like i need to dust don't i but uh, i'm going to test how thick the coating is on this refrigerator. I already know it's magnetic, obviously, because we put magnets on it all the time. So what we do is we take our little uh, our little wheel here and we dial it all the way up. And what's going to happen is this little uh, test point right here will drop down and disappear. So as we turn it up, it should drop completely down. And you saw it do that and you could hear it do that. Okay, so now what we want to do is turn it the other way, and this measures in millimeters, so this is a very thick, it measures all the way up to this one, 40 millimeters. So that's a pretty thick coating, really, to have on something, but it will measure up that high. Most of the stuff that you measure, though, is going to, with a coating, is going to be down very low on the measurement scale, so we're going to go to probably fractions of a millimeter. Nope, it didn't. See it popped up right there at around 1.25. I might have turned it just a little past it. So it's 1.25 to 1.5 millimeters thickness at that particular point on the refrigerator. And what somebody would do uh, if they were testing this in a con quality control setting is they would go around the entire refrigerator or they would test three or four points perhaps on the, on the same piece, like on the door uh, or on the side and uh, they would just ensure that the coating was uh, you know, consistent all the way across. Okay, here we are in the lab right beside the desk and I've got a uh, set of little file cabinets here. These are steel, made by Steelmaster. And uh, we'll do the same thing, so it'll, it'll give you kind of another idea of relative thickness here so we're going to measure the paint these are actually painted steel so this will measure the thickness of the paint you saw that little test piece drop down uh, now with this held flush against the object we'll slowly turn this downward and I'll go slower this time so we might get a little more accurate measurement three millimeters two millimeters 1.5 so it passes 1.5 it passes one and we'll keep going until it actually fall comes up. There it came up. So when this thing is able to overcome the resistance, uh, then this tells you the, what the actual thickness is. And on this, it's about 0.3 millimeters thick paint on this. You know, this might also be handy if you're wanting to ensure that the paint on your chassis 
or whatever you're coating your chassis with, if you're powder coating them, um, if you want to, like if you have some something that goes wrong, for instance, if you paint something and it just didn't work out and it starts flaking off, what you might do is come back and use this, something like this to test how thick you put it on there. So that would give you an actual piece of data that you could then use going forward and you could say to yourself, okay, well, the... Uh, the paint at this thickness tended to chip off so let me maybe make it a little thicker and maybe that'll help or if it's too thick maybe I'll thin it down a little bit and maybe it won't chip as much but that might give you some direction on uh, you know future changes in your product to make sure that they're the best they can be but anyway I just thought that was a pretty cool little tester and again something I found at Goodwill for five bucks and every now and then you can get a, a decent uh, deal at Goodwill you know Goodwill to me is not that interesting if you can't get deals there and increasingly it's become more and more just like a kind of a used retail store and it just kind of it doesn't appeal to me so much for that but when you could find little things like this that are completely unexpected for five bucks and you know all day long I could easily make my money back out of that and then some uh, it's pretty cool anyway that's uh, what I wanted to show you today if you enjoyed it hit subscribe and for now we'll see y'all later